Hey everybody, it's me again, Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. So I wanna do some more sniffing. I have some perfumes from the House of Zershoff here. The first one is called Apollonia. I haven't tried this before. I don't know what the notes are. I know nothing about this. So it's just gonna be a first sniff, first reaction on this one. Then we have another one here called Cambridge Club. This is from their Join the Club collection. Haven't tried this one before, but I'm really interested with it, mostly because of the name. I like the name, Cambridge Club. <laughs> and then the last one here is La Capitale. Haven't tried it before, but I have heard about it, that this is a strawberry scent. And I think that this is the one I'm looking forward to the most. So I'm gonna leave this one for sniffing to the very end. Now let's begin with, let's do the Cambridge Club. Okay, let's spray it on here. Okay, so this one, <laughs> this one is reminding me of a perfume. Like as soon as I smelled it, I'm like, oh, that kind of smells similar to something I've smelled like before. It happens all the time, you guys. But this one to me smells very similar to Intense Cafe by Montel, which I just did a video on. <laughs> so that's kind of weird. But yeah, this is a thick vanilla rose, kind of chocolatey. Maybe there's some coffee in here. Maybe it has the same notes as Intense Cafe. I don't know, but yeah, it smells extremely similar to it. There's a bit of a smokiness, a little bit of a dark feeling, maybe some nuttiness too. But yes, very sweet, thick, decadent, rich, kind of delicious, floral. Yeah, pleasant. If you've smelled um, Intense Cafe, by Montal or Roses Vani by Mancera, then you would get an idea of what Cambridge Club might smell like, at least in my personal opinion. So yeah, that's nice. Uh, let me see what the notes are. Cambridge Club. All right, so the bottle looks like that similar to the other from others from the uh, Join the Club collection. This one has top notes of Bulgarian rose, mid notes of rose and coriander, and base notes are caramel and bourbon vanilla. Hmm. So now that it's dried down a little bit more, I'm finding that this Cambridge, Cambridge Club I'm finding it to be less intense than the Intense Cafe. So this one has like a more smooth, creamy feeling to it. And I actually think that this would be a great comparison video <laughs> uh, for the future, comparing this one to maybe other fragrances that smell like Intense Cafe. But yeah, this one has a nice, smooth, almost buttery, creamy feeling to it. Whereas with the Intense Cafe, it's kind of like more intense, more bold, in your face, really loud, can be harsh. Yeah, that's, this is nice. So that's Cambridge Club. Now the next one I wanna try is called Apollonia. So Apollonia, isn't that a character in The Godfather? I think, <laughs> the, the, the first one? I think that was like the wife of, I can't remember. It's been such a long time since I've seen The Godfather, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but the name Apollonia sounds familiar, familiar. Okay, so yeah, this sample is not working. Oh, there. Jeez, really? That's a fail. Okay, so... It, it pumps like one spray for every 10 sprays. 
<laughs> okay, so Apollonia. Hmm. So it's very powdery and soft. It's making me think of iris like a powdery iris, but it's not like makeup-y iris. It has more of like an earthy, musky kind of feel to it. So very light, airy, musky, earthy, and a really nice iris. I'm not getting any sweetness in this one. When it comes to iris scents, usually I like there to be some sweetness, but so far it's mostly like an iris, iris, powdery, musky scent. Pleasant, yes, but I'm not sure if this is for me. Iris for me isn't my favorite note, although I do own some iris perfumes, for example, right here. <laughs> this is number 19 Poudre from Chanel, which I really like. But yeah, this is really nice. It's making me also think of Fleur de Peau by Diptyque. Hmm. Yeah, pleasant scent. Uh, let's see here now what the notes are. Apollonia. Ooh, the bottle is... Uh, quite nice as well. Almost a marble kind of effect. Now, let's see the notes. Released in 2019. The top note is white flowers, middle notes, orris, and the base notes are musk. Okay, so I guess two of them, right? <laughs> well, orris, kind of like iris. Pleasant scent. If you're an iris lover, you probably want to try this one but I'm not sure if it's for me. I'll test these later on skin. It's just a first uh, reaction. Now, lastly, the one that I'm looking forward to the most is called the La Capitale. And as I said earlier, I heard that this was a strawberry scent. And I think when it comes to strawberry scents, um, it's kind of hard for me to not... Actually, let me just say that I haven't found my holy grail strawberry perfume yet. At least I don't think I have. There's some nice ones out there, but there hasn't been like one that was like, you know, the one. So let's see here, La Capitale. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so it's definitely fruity. Okay. So the fruitiness isn't, isn't really making me think of strawberry right away. For me, I'm getting more of a peachy apricot kind of feeling or scent in here. Hmm. So I'm getting that fruitiness and probably there's vanilla in here because I'm feeling like they've added sugar or vanilla to this already sweet, ripe, juicy, um, apricot, peach salad. Okay, so I'm also getting some other fruits in here, maybe like a, a mixed fruit cocktail salad. And then some vanilla. Hmm. And there's also like a, um, kind of a, um, a glaze. It's making me think of like a sugar glaze. <laughs> so we have this fruit cocktail salad and then putting some clear sugar glaze on top to make it even more sweet. So yeah, this is very, very sweet. Um, I'm kind of wishing I would get more of the strawberry. Maybe on skin you would get more of it. But this isn't making me think of strawberries at all. <laughs> More so like a mixed fruit salad, which isn't bad. But there's also other things going on in here. I mean, it's quite heavy. Behind all of these fruits, 
I'm getting something that's reminding me of, of Oud. And I don't know if Oud's in here. But there is something in here, for sure, that makes it feel like heavy and dense. Like a woody, a heavy woodiness. Yeah, so this is like fruit salad and um, glaze or like a syrupy kind of syrup, a syrupy syrup <laughs> drizzled on top. Not in love with it yet. I think it's okay. But not to that much strawberry so far. Okay, so let's see. La Capitale. Just bear with me, guys. <laughs> Ooh, the bottle is really, really pretty. Looks like that. Nice gold. It says here it's part of the Shooting Stars collection. Released in 2019. The top notes are strawberry, caramel, peach, and labdanum. So we got that peach in there. That, for me, is the most dominant. Middle notes, leather, saffron, amber, ginger, and rose. Base notes are bourbon, vanilla, and benzoin. So now that I'm reading here that there's leather, now I can smell it. <laughs> Maybe to me that kind of came off as oud earlier. And there aren't any woody notes in here, but I'm still getting like a nice woodsiness in here with a touch of oud. A little bit of leather probably now that I know that it's in there but yeah I'm not really in love with this one I don't know you guys <laughs> it's not knocking my socks off but this is just my first reaction on it now if I were to choose between these three which is my favorite I would probably go for the Cambridge Club mostly because um, it smells like something that I know I already like perfumes that smell like intense cafe uh, but with just little differences this one if you like intense cafe but maybe you thought it was too harsh or just too too much um, then this one would be one to try um, as for the other two Apollonia was nice I'm not sure if it's my style though and then the La Capitale I don't know <laughs> it's all right but I, I don't know. I guess I was just expecting more strawberry, but I'm not really getting it. And then that kind of oody, earthy thing in here. I'm not sure about either. Not in love with this one so much. So those were my quick thoughts and my first impressions of these fragrances here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments what you think of them, if you've tried that, tried any of them. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you soon in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.